Father, I give you praise. I glorify you and I uplift you this day. Because you're the God in control. The God who is reigning. The God who is at work. Progressively for the betterment of your creation. I want to thank you because from the beginning you wished us well. Even now, you have laid in plan our redemption, our deliverance, our glorification. And so, Lord, I bless you this day for Living Faith Program. As you speak to us, I know the word will not come in vain. May you be glorified in the life of each one who is going to listen to this word so that they may be progressed to another level from wherever they are, whatever captivity they are in, whatever pain they are in, you shall be glorified. Father, I thank you and I give you praise. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen, amen, amen. I want somebody to celebrate Jesus for me. I will forever celebrate the name of the Lord. I will forever celebrate the name of the Lord. Because the Lord is my strength. The Lord is our strength. The Lord is our all in all. I want to talk to somebody about God is at work. God is at work. Tell somebody God is at work. God has never rested. God is still working even now. God will work until the end. Hallelujah. Working for goodness. Tell somebody it is for goodness. The Lord is working for goodness. Did somebody hear me? I said the Lord is working for goodness. What the Lord is doing is working towards redemption of his people. Deliverance of his people. Salvation of his people. The healing of the nation. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord is working for your glorification. The Lord is working for your other level. Yes. Hey, hey. Yes. Hallelujah. For the body of Christ, the Lord is at work. Say amen if you're part of the body of Christ. I said for the body of Christ, the Lord is at work. To make it better, to make it better, to make it better. Aha! Hallelujah! Day by day. Say, say day by day. Day by day, the Lord is planning and programming for somebody righteous, for somebody waiting upon the Lord, for somebody who is still trusting in him. The Lord is at work. The Lord is at work. And it will be better for better. From glory, from glory to glory. And for you who is in pain, for you who is in captivity, for you who is regretting your life, I want to say that the Lord is still working for you. You just need to surrender your life to God. Surrender to God. And it will be well with you. It will be well with the righteous. I want to bring forth our topic today and say, when God is at work. Mm -hmm. Day by day, even when we go through persecution, through betrayal, through pain, whatever you're going through, and you're a child of God, you are the person that I am telling you. The Lord is at work. And when the Lord is at work, all totality of what you're going through shall be your victory. Hallelujah. Whatever you're going through shall be your next glory. Hallelujah. Shall be a way to your next glory. A way to your next glory. When you pray, when you commit yourself to God, you need not to worry. You need not to fear. You need not to be shaken. You just need to believe that the God that you have committed your need to is a God who is able. Hallelujah. What is causing people not to receive is because they don't believe. Hallelujah. I said believe. Believe. When you commit to God, believe. And after you believe, relax. 
Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, talk to the righteous and tell them, it shall be well with them. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. When the Lord is in charge, he doesn't sleep. He sees your enemies. He sees them gathering together for you. He sees people strategizing against you. He sees kingdom rising against you. And he watches. He allows situations to glorify himself. Amen. Amen. When we pray and commit our matters to God, it is sufficient to know that he will do it. It's only sufficient to know that he will do it. You know, the best thing you can ever to do is pray glorifying God for victory. If you need to pray, pray glorifying God for victory. I was telling God, I know I cannot die before I give a testimony of what I have committed to you. The Lord knows what to do. I said the Lord knows what to do. And so, instead of you bothering yourself with issues, tell somebody relax. Relax. The wisdom of God is beyond comprehension of man. His ways are far beyond finding out. You may die trying to trace the ways of the Lord. And the Bible says the ways of the Lord are so far away from our ways. His thoughts are so far away from our thoughts. So the time you think the Lord has neglected you, that time he is at work because he doesn't work like you. Hallelujah. He does not work like you. Mm. The Lord does not work like us. When we think the Lord is neglecting us, he is in charge. Doing better. Say doing better. I have no doubt about that. And that's why I want it to sink to believers. I want it to sink to the children of God. I want it to sink, sink to the body of Christ. I have no doubt about what the Lord is doing. Even if I go through what pain, I know one thing, that he is manifesting the riches of his grace through me. He will manifest the riches of his grace through me. No matter what I'm going through, that pain will bring forth the riches of the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to say that the world is waiting to see the manifestation of the sun. The world is waiting. So they are in for a surprise. They are in for a surprise. Hallelujah. That's why sometimes it's not easy, but the Lord is in control. Tell somebody, it's not easy. It's not easy, but the Lord is in control. The book of Esther, chapter number 6, I read from verse 1 to 10. Verse 1 to 10, the Bible says, That night, the king could not sleep, so he ordered the book of the Chronicles the records of his reign to be brought in and read to him and read to him. It was found recorded there that Mordecai had exposed Bigthana and Therese, two of the king's officers who guarded the doorway, who had conspired to assassinate King Cesis. What honor and recognition has Mordecai received for this? The king asked, nothing has been done for him. His attendants answered. The king said, who is in the court? Now Haman had just entered the outer court of the palace to speak to the king about impaling Mordecai on the pole he had set up for him. His attendants answered, Haman is standing in the court. Bring him in, the king ordered. When Haman entered, the king asked him, 
What should be done for the man that the king delights to honor? Now Haman thought to himself, Who is there that the king would rather honor than me? He answered to the king, For the man the king delights to honor, let them bring a royal robe the king has won and a horse the king has ridden, one with a royal crisp placed on his head. Then let the robe and the horse be entrusted to one the king, king's most noble prince. Let them robe the man the king's delights to honor and lead him on the horse through the city streets, proclaiming before him, this is, this is what is done for the man the king delights to honor. Go at once, the king commanded Haman. Get the robe and the horse and do just as you have suggested. For Mordecai the Jew, who sits at the king's gate, do not neglect anything you have recommended. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now I want to talk about this slowly a little bit and then I show you God at work. Mordecai had done good to the king a while ago. Hallelujah. He did not know that this good he had done will come in handy at a time of need. Hallelujah. He did just what was supposed to be done by a child of God. He did what children of God should do. James chapter number 4 verse 17 says that and therefore those who know how to do good and they do not do to them is sin. They are guilty of sin. Now, if you're guilty of sin, then you are not yet a child of God. Did I talk to somebody? I said, if you're still guilty of sin, you are far away from becoming a child of God. Because a child of God is commanded to do good. And we know the good that we should do, whether you are getting back or not. There are people who do you good because they expect something from you. They will not do you good if you are not giving back. Ask your neighbor, how many times do you do good without expecting back? Because we are meant to do what is right. Tell somebody, we are supposed to do what is right. We are meant to do what is right. Whether you are paid or you are not paid. Mm. Hallelujah. Whether people recognize or they don't recognize. How many times have you been guilty of sin? For what you should do. And you have not done. You know how to love. And you cannot love. You know how to feed the hungry. And you are able to feed and you cannot feed. Eh? Hallelujah. And the Bible says. Love even your enemies. Uh, did I say something? I said love even your enemies. If the only people you greet are the people of your faith. There is no difference between you and the people of the world. The difference must be noted. And the difference will be noted when you can greet even people who don't deserve your greetings. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. You greet even those who gossip you. Give them a ride. I've given people lifts. So many times I find them on the way. And they're the same people I know. That sit down to say how much I'm a devil worshiper. I'll give them a ride. And ask them where they're going. I will drop them where they're going. Hallelujah. Because I am supposed to do good. Say I'm supposed to be doing good. Doing that good that you don't know when it will come back to you. But it will come back. Tell somebody it must come back. The good must come back. Good must come back. Because the Bible says do not be deceived. Whatever you sow. You shall reap. Whatever you sow. 
you shall surely reap. Don't deceive yourself. Don't cause anybody pain because pain will come on you. Huh? Just before you go to heaven, here on earth, hey, hey, you cause somebody to cry, you will cry. Am I talking to somebody? I say you do what you're doing, it will come back. It goes round. Tell somebody, learn to do good. Learn to go do good. Because it will come back at one time. It shall surely come back. Hmm? The good you do can never be forgotten forever. Eh? The Bible says that there are books. There are books in heaven. Books that are written. Books that are written. There are books that are written about what you have done. What you have been doing. What you have done. What you have been doing. You may not get it back from me. But the Lord will command somebody else to do for you. Aha. Hallelujah. I know that God commands people for you. I've seen God command people for me. People that I don't know. And the Lord says, you, take food to that house for the next one month. And somebody I don't know. The Lord has commanded, bring food to my house for one month. You think it's a joke? Huh. Hallelujah. I say good will come back. I say good will come back. Good will always come back. Hallelujah. But learn to do without waiting. Do as if it will never happen. Do it because you never know when it will ever happen. Invest in good. Did I tell somebody? I said invest in good. The good will promote you. Ha, hallelujah. Go good will promote you. Listen church. I once became a house girl. There was no money to continue with education. And so the next thing you do is you're idle. You're told why don't you work in some house. I became a house girl for eight good months. And for eight months, my employer, my employer, who felt that, uh, uh, after all, I'm a young person who doesn't even know money, never paid me for eight months. And she left me with a baby who was breastfeeding at nine months. She left the baby with me as she was going out of the country. The baby had not stopped breastfeeding. And so I will take care of this baby as it cries at night, looking for breasts to suck. And I was there eight months. The lady went out of the country. She came back. She never brought me anything. She never brought me anything. She brought everything for the children there. And later, she gave me enough for two days. Go off and then come back on Monday, okay? Right. Then she said, no, 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 come on Tuesday. Go off on Saturday, come on Tuesday. No salary. I was only given 20 shillings. 20 shillings those days was a lot of money. Say it was a lot of money. <laughs> and so I went for, two, for those days off. While I'm going for the off with no salary, a door opens for a job that I did not qualify. The job is calling for somebody with these qualifications. And uh, whoever called was expecting one of my sisters to go for the interview. And my sister was not available. So my mama said, unfortunately, she's not around. And she came and told me, you know, somebody had called for this opportunity. And I said in my heart, when you go back, because she was a teacher, she had come for lunch. When you go back to school, I will go and challenge that opportunity. And my mother went to school. And my 20 shillings change was still there. So I went to Nairobi City Center. And I went for an interview that I never qualified for. I didn't have any paper. And I went in and walked in for the interview very confidently. I took the interview. I passed the interview. Then my employer asked me for the papers. Bring your papers. And they said, I said, I'm so, unfortunately, I haven't been to any college. She couldn't believe it. She said, what? Purity, you have never been to, I've not been to any college. But I have qualified to get a job that is for somebody who's been to college. And you know, 
because she didn't know how to dismiss me. She told me, I've interviewed 22 girls. You are the 23rd. The 22 have failed. You have passed and you have no paper. Tell somebody, good comes back. Good comes back. Now listen, you don't know the story yet. Because from there I started paying my school. And I got to where I wanted to get. But I want to tell you, 20 years after, say 20 years after, the same lady that I worked for remembered <laughs> remembered there was a lady who worked for her. Now, I'm already having my own company. <laughs> and she came to pay me for the service that I gave that nobody else ever gave. No murmuring, you give service, no murmuring. You don't complain, you give service. Do good, don't complain. Do good, don't murmur. If they don't recognize you, God records. God records. Hallelujah. It is recorded somewhere that you give service. Hmm? That boss may never come back for you, but the Lord will pay you. The Lord will pay you. Am I talking to somebody? So when God is at work, look at the way the Lord works. He causes the enemy to be busy working against you. That's God in work. Say God in work. The same night, Haman is making a plan against Mordecai. The same night, God is causing the king not to sleep. The guy could not sleep. God was at work. Hmm? As it is being planned here against you, the Lord is planning for your next level. As the devil is working for your downfall, the Lord is working for your promotion. Am I talking to somebody? The same night. Hmm, because God overtakes the plans of darkness. Did you hear me? I said God overtakes the plans of darkness. God knows how to be smarter than the devil. God knows when the devil is planning against you. Did I say God knows? Hallelujah. God knows. What triggered the king to look for the books, the chronicle books? I don't know what triggered. I don't know why. Why would you lack sleep and decide to go through the books? But I want to say, God was at work. Hallelujah. God was at work for Mordecai. For Mordecai, the Lord was working against the Mordecai plan for killing him. Ah, hallelujah. So I want to announce even to the devil worshippers that the, the, those who plan against us, those who, who plan that we shall, we shall die, I am declaring now, as you plan to kill us, the Lord is working for our promotion. As you mentioned purity, the Lord mentions purity for another level. The Lord will overtake you, devil. The Lord will overtake you, devil. You will come to me once and in one way. You shall be scattered in seven ways. Am I talking to somebody? As you plan in one way, you will be scattered in seven ways. God for the righteous. God for his children. Hallelujah. God for his children. As you work against, he works for you. Mm. I'm not surprised. The same night, Mordecai in the, dark, in the kingdom of darkness, Mordecai in the kingdom of light. It depends on which one is, is weightier than the other. Tell somebody it depends on which one is weightier. I don't know where you belong. If you don't know how to do good, you will find yourself your, your enemy overtaking you. Tell somebody, you better be doing good. Just do good. Just do good. Even if you're a slave, continue doing good. Even if you're in captivity, continue doing good. Hallelujah. Because as they plan, the plan is there. The plan is here. The plan is here. May God help us. May God help us. May God help us. I know the Lord will stir up some people for you. The Lord will stir up some people for you. They will not have peace. Remember after 20 years that you served them. Ah, 
After 20 years, who knew that I would be getting somebody coming to give me money, money, money? Eh? Hallelujah, it comes. It comes in every way. It comes even in form of cars. It comes. It comes. Hallelujah. Continue doing good. Tell somebody continue doing good. I want somebody who has an understanding. Don't do something with murmuring. Do it with all your heart. Hallelujah. God allowed Haman to erect the gallow. It was erected for Mordecai. But the Lord knew you are putting up this thing for yourself. Eh? Hallelujah. For your selfish ambition, you will be laid there. It is you who's going to die there because you are too selfish to love. You are too selfish to love. Am I talking to somebody? I said you are too selfish to love. There are people who cannot love so easily. They are too self-centered to love, to extend a hand. You want to take advantage of every moment, every opportunity you are taking advantage because you do not understand that any time the Lord gives you an opportunity to do good, it was testing your heart. Eh? Hallelujah. When I was bringing up people in my house, uh, the servants of God who grew up in my house, quite a number of them, and I told God, God, I don't want to feel offended by these men of God. Because I know they are here because they've been thrown out for salvation's sake. Now they're in my house. So, Father, I want you to help me. Because if I, if I give birth to ten children, I will bring them up like my own. And I will not discriminate. So this is the heart I am asking you, God. Give me a heart to own these servants of God like my own children. I will never complain to anybody. I'll never nag anybody for the servants of God. I will not even ask the church that we were serving, why are they not supporting these people? I will not ask for offering or tithe. I will not ask for alms. But God, give me the grace to bring up ten children like my own. I'm giving you this testimony so that I talk to somebody here. I want to say, do it with a clean heart. Do it like it is your business. Hallelujah. You shall be counted because you are blessed. Why are you blessed? Because you knew how to do good. When nobody expected that it will pay back. Lift up your hands before the Lord. I want somebody to say, God, I pray that you may help me to work as you work. To do the good work. That will pay me back. I know God. My name shall be mentioned. For redemption. For deliverance. For promotion. For another level. For favor. Because of the good. That I do. Even to the enemies. With a clean heart. Help me Lord. To work. As you work. Blessed be your holy name. Father I thank you for your word. May your name be glorified. In Jesus name we pray.